Economic development is a key priority for East Lothian. The East Lothian Community Planning Economic Development Strategy for 2012 to 2022 has been developed by the Council, its partners and the business community as a framework to guide our future economic activities. East Lothian is a great place to do business. We have a diverse economy with particular strengths in food and drink, tourism and higher education. Don't take our word for it, but share in the stories of how some East Lothian businesses came into being and how the Council and other partners have encouraged, shared and developed these businesses. Adfab are steel fabricators working predominantly in the electricity industry. Uh, we have a history that goes right back to the uh, post-war when uh, manufacturing of towers was started in East Lothian. We employ around 80 people at the moment. Uh, we have everything from design engineers, drafting engineers, CAD operators, production control people. Then out, out into the workshop we have CNC machine operators, welders, fabricators. The project we did with Anthony Gormley was quite, quite a challenge, to be honest with you. He phoned up one day, uh, seven years ago, uh, out of the blue, uh, asking he had an interest in pylons, so he asked us um, if we would be able to make, he had an idea of something that he wanted to make and would we be able to speak to him about it. It has given us a great opportunity to diversify. We've done some other art projects in the meantime. It's given us recognition in the, in the steel industry that we could never have even dreamt of, to be honest with you. We're doing a project at the moment for some large carousel units for the oil industry and the, it's for a Brazilian company and the chap came over from Brazil and he saw the pictures of the crouching man and as he was walking out he said if you can make that you can make ours. I come from a family of nine siblings, eight, f uh, five brothers and three sisters and uh, my parents spent time in Ohio and then some time in Texas. So we kind of originate from those two places. It kind of was a, an unusual situation. My, my father had started a, a golf outing for the family and the, the, there were all of us together with some friends. Scotland has a history associated to golf and the things that you get from golf, the, the, the discipline in your life, the camaraderie with the, the people that you deal with and that you play with and you get to know, it's, it's not like coming and having a meeting for 15 minutes or even an hour. When you're on a golf course, you're with somebody for three or four or five hours, hopefully not five, but sometimes it gets that way but you develop a certain understanding of the people that you're with in a certain relationship, and it's different. And that's what draws people together. That's what we've, we've had happen here. And the Scottish people that, that we've become, uh, not just members, but, but people that have become our friends are just fantastic in that way. And that's one of the things that attracts everybody who comes to Scotland. It's 25 years ago we first located here to East Lothian. Alba Trees was a company set up under the business expansion scheme. So that meant we went to the City of London, 622 shareholders originally invested in the company, and we didn't have a nursery facility at the time, so we chose East Lothian because of its reputation for being a good growing agricultural area. Firstly, the main benefit is the climate of the area. You know, East Lothian was once regarded as the breadbasket of Scotland and that reputation is well founded because of the very good horticulture climate we have. We're working from the bean and there's only a small group of people in the UK who are actually working from cacao bean. So we're buying that direct from growers, we're doing the conching and the roasting of the cacao here in Haddington and we're one of the first UK companies that not only makes chocolate from the bean but then can turn that chocolate into chocolates or gateau or chocolate bars or ice cream or many things. We're a very diverse and highly skilled team of people able to work with our raw ingredients to create a finished product which is exceptional, um, both in quality and also in ethics. Quality and innovation are frequent buzzwords of East Lothian businesses. The county offers a combination of an enviable natural environment with strong transport links to Edinburgh and further afield. Local businesses have been able to establish their niche while capitalising on unique surroundings. The land was made for golf, you could just see. And historically speaking, traditionally speaking, I mean, how could it not? I mean, look at its neighbours. The neighbours are some of the most famous places in the world. And so from that perspective, it was almost a given that this property had to have golf on it. We have a lot of tourists coming out of Edinburgh to see 
parts of Scotland which are very accessible from the city centre, and um, East Lothian is, is, you know, it's right beside Edinburgh. We were looking for a sizable piece of land where we could realise our vision of a sustainable green university campus. And East Lothian have been so welcoming, both in terms of people giving us advice, in terms of the land that was available, but also East Lothian offers wonderful transport links and enormous opportunities in terms of engaging with business and with the community. And East Lothian were looking for a university, and, and what a better county to, to move to a university to than East Lothian. This site was developed for the production of approximately 7 million trees a year. We now require to produce 9 million trees for the next two years. So this site is now fully developed, and it's producing 7.2 million, and we're just starting to create another site just a kilometre from here for the production of the rest of the plants we require. We have great links on the A1 uh, for transport, transportation of materials into us and, and away, whether that's going up to the north of Scotland or down to the south of England. Our approach is based on partnership, recognising that we can only succeed in driving forward our local economy by working together across all council services and in close collaboration with the business community and our partners. The council have been very helpful towards us. Since we moved to Haddington and moved to a bigger premises, we've had some grants, we've had a bit of loan from uh, Business Gateway in Haddington and um, it's been quite, well, it's been essential for us to, to get to where we wanted to go and we needed that extra input. The council has been very supportive to us. The one thing we didn't need from the council was financial support. We have a very very good business plan for what our intentions are. Where the council's helped us out is in the support from the planning department. We are an agricultural development. Most of what we do don't require planning, but we've kept the local authority well informed of what we do on the site because we wanted to make sure we could fit such a, a major business into the countryside without upsetting any local community. So the planning department's been very good with us and helping us you know, develop the site. For the last five years, there's been a step change from the council's interest and help that they've given us, really. And I don't know whether that's just as a result of the change in policy at the council or change of management at the council, I'm not sure, but the, they're certainly very supportive at the moment. Actually, from the very beginning, I, I sincerely can't be any more complimentary that the council has been, been fantastic with us. The things that we've asked have all been reasonable We've been reasonable because we feel like, you know, we're, we're sort of, not sort of, we, we're outsiders here, although we've become less and less over time, but we respect the things that are necessary and the things that are doing, and we're just trying to make the whole environment better. So the council, the requests that we've had, the things that we've needed to do, the, all of the legality and the permit have all been fantastic through the entire process, from the original construction of the golf course to the construction of this lodge building that we're in, and now to the construction of the, cl the clubhouse. They've just been fantastic. East Lothian's environment, the Food and Drink Initiative, Business Gateway, and Queen Margaret University have all contributed to the emerging success story of a local food supplier. Originally it was through East Lothian Council and also Scotland Food and Drink and they were encouraging businesses to come forward. I had wanted to know about the omega-3 levels in the oil and also what happened to those at heat. So we approached Queen Margaret University to do a project. Food and Drink uh, ties in very much with our flagships. At the university we have three flagships. One is health and rehabilitation, another one is sustainable business and another one is culture and creativity. And food and drink arises out of our expertise in the health side, nutrition, dietetics, but at the same time in sustainable business, the hospitality and tourism industry, which we do research in and for, leads to us having a strength in food and drink, which has resulted in a number of businesses approaching us to work with them. When Louise Elder from Black and Gold first came to us, she wanted to know about the fatty acid profile, and that's a relatively simple test, and we actually have that done at the University of Stirling, who are a collaborative partner with us. But then we also felt that there were some antioxidant properties of the rapeseed oil that we wanted to explore. So what we did was we looked at antioxidant capacity, the ability for it to actually work, and also the levels of different identified antioxidants that we knew about. And what we found is that the black and gold 
cold pressed rapeseed oil because it is minimally processed actually contain very high levels of the antioxidants. Chefs have told me that they really love the oil, they love its nutty flavour, the, the look on the plate is very golden, um, they love the viscosity of the oil and the fact that it gets to high temperatures and um, Stuart Muir, the executive chef at Harvey Nichols, really loves it because it's local, 15 miles away from him and that's something quite special. East Lothian is a place for business, a place to study, a place to relax. I'm the founding director of this company, I'm the MD at the present moment. It's important that the key people of this company live in an area where they like to live. You know, I've found East Lothian a, a very nice county to have the opportunity to live in. I brought up my, my three sons here. I moved 25 years ago, I moved to a flat in the centre of Haddington. Thought I would stay there temporary, I'm still there. Where other areas might be feeling a bit more of a pinch from the recession, we're um, able to maintain what is quite a, a luxury type product. Um, an affordable luxury, but yet still not a cheap product. And um, we've managed to make it work here. And I would encourage other businesses to come and just take a look at what East Lothian is like if they're considering moving. Um, it's not a bad option at all. We built a campus that was very much built with the students at the centre of the campus because they wanted learning opportunities that suited them. But we also built a campus that would suit the community. We wanted uh, landscape gardens where the locals could come for walks, where they could walk their dogs. We have a little loch, but the loch is not just a loch, it is a sustainable urban drainage pond. So we looked at environmental features there. We created a campus which, through the way it's built, through the use of light, through a biomass burner, created a campus which is now the most sustainable, the greenest campus in the UK. It's a wonderful place to live um, for our employees and, and myself as well. Uh, you can be on the beach in 15 minutes from here, you can be in the centre of Edinburgh, benefiting from all that there is in Edinburgh. You can be on the hills just as easy. The most important thing is the location and the property. And when, we, when I first stepped on the land and walked the land, and even though it was completely tree, there were trees everywhere, I knew you could tell that the land was made for golf. You could just see. Whether you're a local business or service provider, prospective business or developer, we want you to be part of our exciting new plans for East Lothian. To find out more, visit www.eastlothian.gov.uk working together or speak to Susan Smith, Economic Development Manager, East Lothian Council, John Muir House, Brewery Park, Haddington, EH41 3HA. Telephone 01620 8272 or email economicdevelopment at eastlothian.gov.uk